everybody, Shannon and Karen here with Wandering Out Yonder. And today we are at Long Pine Reservoir here in Michaud State Forest out in Caledonia. We wanted to share with you something that we recently found and we also wanted to share with you um, ways that Shannon and I uh, are able to afford or find budget friendly equipment for all of our adventures. One of the things that you guys don't know about us, you're going to find out now, <laughs> is we are both avid yard sellers. Flea market. Goodwill. Flea market, yes. Goodwill, you yes. name it, we like to find a bargain. Right. And we're going to share with you guys in this particular video and maybe some in the future here, some of our uh, most recent finds, some of the things that we are just thrilled to find at a yard sale at a good price, and we're just going to share them with you. Um, one of the things that we recently found is the Arctic cooler. Now this is one of those floating coolers that you can take like when you're out kayaking or boating. Uh, this, I, be I believe it's called a marine cooler yeah, technically. It's called a marine cooler. This is a pretty good size cooler. It is thermal. It's waterproof. We can put it in the kayak or let it float outside of the kayak either way. And we, we when we found this, I think Shannon found it. Yeah. Uh, I paid ten dollars for it and <laughs> it was never used no they never used right, it. right so, so i'm not sure how much they retail for um we'll look it up and all right and I'll you can look in. that up yeah but you can see arctic right is the name of the cooler right. and this it's nice a, yeah it's a yeah. nice one it's got in this cooler right now we have a lunch we also have a lot of water a lot of soda we have a lot of stuff in this cooler yeah. right now so you could really you could pack probably two or three days of worth of food in this if you wanted to do some kayaking and uh, camping, that sort of thing, and use this this particular cooler for that it would work out great. Anyhow, the, the second thing we want to share with you, and we just, just found this one. What? This is an INEX, or Intex. Intex, I'm sorry, Intex 2, I believe. Is that what you said? I believe it's called the Explorer 2. The Explorer 2. Yeah. It is one of the blow-up kayaks. Right. It's a two-person kayak. Now, I have been out uh, when we go to yard sales, I have ran into these here and there at some different yard sales. And I wanted to get one so that when we have company or we have friends going with us or family, that we would have a spare kayak to blow up and share and, and then to go, you know, so the family members and so forth could go along with this kayaking. So anyhow, Shannon and I are out here today because we have yet to take it out of the bag. We're going to take it out of the bag, blow it up, and show it to you, and then we're going to take it out on the water and see how it does. So, right. so the plan is also um, to be able to take it along in Fran. Right. Mm -hmm. So when we go on one of our next adventures, because we can't take our hard uh, kayaks. Um, well, it's not as easy to. Right. Yeah. Well, we could, yeah, but um, not quite as easy, right? We'd have to take them in and out of the van constantly to sleep and that sort of thing. Um, so that was the other reason I had been looking for one of these. We can, it comes, these, I don't know if you guys have ever seen these before, but like on Amazon, you'll see them. They're, they're not terribly expensive, but we got a really good deal on this one because we found it at, where did we find it, Shannon? At, at a yard, yard sale, sale. And they told us they used it once. once. Yep. So. Oh, so, and the other thing about this that I thought was pretty cool is it comes with the uh, oars. And it also had inside of it, these are um, inflatable vests, which were inside the bag. Now, I'm not sure on Amazon if these come with this particular kayak, but these were with this one when I bought it. And I was like, well, that just like is the whole package. So, all right. So, anyhow, we're going to get started on this and show it to you, okay? You ready? Okay, so we've taken everything out of the bag. We have yet to do that since we bought it last week so <laughs> anyhow we were really anxious to get this out here we had to wait for a day that we could do it all right so anyhow as you can see um you have the paddles right here and you connect all those pieces together this is a pump that comes with it so you can pump it we actually brought ourselves a yeah, our is, coleman pump it's yeah. a battery operated pump we're going to use that to blow it up oh, but definitely. you do have an option there so that's kind of cool there's the seats, and from what I understand, they Velcro inside of the boat, and here's the boat itself. And then again, um, the owners, previous owners, bought these blow-up um, life vests, which are pretty cool to have on hand for when we have company, because we only have two. We're going to be wearing ours uh, that we have today. Come 
and so note how it's uh, folded up. Mm -hmm. In thirds. Like it's a banana. Folded in. <laughs> okay. Alright, so here, you see. Alright, so first impressions are pretty good. We haven't blown anything up yet, but it looks like you have different areas that you have to pump up. I guess we're going to find that out. Kind of like the same uh, concept of an air mattress. Kind of. Yeah. Alright, and then on each end is a handle. Yep, Notice okay. that it's nice and clean, so we're happy about that. Yeah. yeah. And this was the K2 that we Explore found. 2. The Explore 2. Yeah. All right. Oh no. So we actually have found that the hand pump is a little bit easier. And faster. Yeah. You had to fight to see how much more firm that is. Mm -hmm. Had to fight with all the adapters with the little pump that I brought, so so we've got the boat uh, inflated. All right, so that only took us about 10 minutes or so using the hand pump. We're now we, with no, no directions. right, we didn't have any directions, but it is marked. I mean, it's marked uh, one, two, three, four, and five. So the bottom is one. We did that first, then we did the sides, and then we did the little um, ends here, and it's just these pieces right here that blow up. But yeah, and now Shannon's doing the seats. They Velcro in place, but yeah, those are independent. So she's going to do those. But we found that the little hand pump works out just fine. Better than the, uh, yeah, better than the Coleman battery operated one. So we kind of chucked that to the side. Okay, so there's Velcro on the bottom of the seats. Shannon showed them the Velcro. Yeah. And it attaches, so you can kind of put the front seat anywhere you want, up right. and down that piece of Velcro strip. To give us some room. Right, to give me some leg room if I'm going in the back or whatever. All right, so then you get them in place, and you can move the seats around a little bit to help adjust with things. And then you buckle the seats into place and kind of tighten them up. There you go. There you go. Kind of curve the back, of the curve of the back. Back support. Yeah, for back support. All right, so. All right, so then like, um, like I said, you can, see yeah, well, I'm gonna have now. so there you go. So Shannon's going to be back. I don't know. One of us will yeah, sit back there and want to see. Right. That's probably how it's going to go. Exactly. And that's exactly what I would do because yeah, I would need to stretch my legs out, but yeah. So we are officially in the blow-up kayak, right, Shannon? <laughs> and she's fixing her oars because they were a little bit wonky. She didn't have them on there quite right, so she's working on that. But yeah, we're in. It was a little bit of a challenge. Yeah, well, but because we had a snake friend. Yeah, we, yeah, we had a snake crawl up on us when we were trying to get in. Not good. So we did make it across the lake. You can see way over there is Fran. Uh, it held up good. A little bit different. Requires us to be coordinated and on the same page. Uh, I just wanted to mention we did bring the pump in case we got over here and found that we needed a little bit more air. So, but so far, 
So far, so good. We think it might come in handy for travel purposes. So, the snake wasn't attracted to the color or something. No, I think it's just the snake doing snake stuff. We made it safely. No leaks. It's a little bit different than a regular kayak, but we still were happy with it. Yes. Okay, so like I said, we uh, we got over here safely. We're getting ready to have some lunch. Yes. I'm going to show you the little lunch bag that we found at a yard sale. Yeah, I just want to mention. Another one. pay for that, Karen? Yeah, this is a Merrill. This is an insulated bag right here, and then the top is like a mesh sack. Yeah, but backpack. And it's a backpack, yeah. Yeah, so we, I think I paid a buck for that at a yard sale. Yeah, so I was like, ah, hey, we keep that in the van for these kinds of situations when we want to pack up a little bit of a lunch and maybe... A day trip. We learned yeah. something uh, when we were at Winger, Winger Schnecker. Winger Schnecker. Yeah, Beach. Beach. <laughs> that um, it would have been nice to have something to carry. Yeah. Other than our hiking backpacks right so. so we i found this yeah. uh, and it holds quite a bit i've got like four bottled waters two four sodas um lunch, lunch complete lunch and their chips snacks yeah, yeah so that's pretty good so. so anyway um we're gonna use our life preservers as um chairs or mats all right because we're on this sandy rocky beach but anyway um I brought this with us. This, this is my, I got this at one of the state parks. I thought it was a pretty cool bandana. I like to collect bandanas. It's one of my things. But it has all of the Pennsylvania state parks in, on it. So where are we? We are down here. Right there, right there. Right Pennsylvania there, yes. State Park. Yep. Yep. So, and Karen is going to sacrifice her nifty bandana as a nice clean eating spot for us today. So we're gonna do our lunch right here. Yep. All right, you ready? Right. I guess I give a little bit about um, what we like and what we don't like so far. I, I really you? don't think there's anything I don't like. Um, <clears throat> like I said earlier, it's it is not our kayaks. It's not our hard plastic mm -hmm. kayaks. Because if anybody's watched our videos, you know, we do have... Yeah, we have just regular kayaks. Right, we have hard shell kayaks that were actually that. gifted to us, so another... Yeah. Oh, yeah, those were given... The, her Shannon's mother got her the red one for her birthday, and she knew Shannon would not go kayaking without me, so she got me one, too. So, well, yeah. so thanks to uh, my mom and my stepfather, we, yes. we do have... We have hard shell kayaks, and yeah. we both we both love them. Yes. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, the difference in how they go across the water. I mean, yeah. you're not in a regular kayak. You're, you are in a glow-up kayak, so it's not going to be right. the same. Right, and Which I don't care because I just like floating around, so I don't care. I'm not out here racing with anybody. So, um, But space, there's definitely a different difference in space. It's the well, same size boat, but now you have two people in it. And we sometimes take a lot of stuff with us. Yes, we do. But for the purpose that... W I mean, the reason that we got, I picked this up at the yard sale was I wanted to have one in case we had company. So, for example, my daughter is going to be coming home from California soon. And I thought, well, if we go out kayaking, I could bring that along for her to go kayaking with us. The other thing, and one of the big things was when we are out on our travels, um, we have been to so many state parks that have really nice lakes um, and places that we could get out and kayak but we didn't have our kayaks because they're kind of a pain in the butt to take in the van. Right. We would have to put them in the back, take them out, right. back and forth, back and forth with those. And this, they're kind of, excuse me, they're a little bit heavy. Right. Take and up quite a bit of room in the we van. We don't want to put a rack on the van mm -hmm. just because, um, just because we don't. We just don't want to do that. Right. Um, so, but we have been a few places where we got there not knowing that it was going to be the lake or the opportunity like there was. And it would have been nice we, I don't know how many times we both said, wish we had our kayaks. Mm -hmm. So with this now for semi-local road trips mm -hmm. or whatever. I'd take it anywhere. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to try to figure out a way to make it a bit, a bit more compact. Slide, um, it, slide it under a bunk. Intex, is that the name of the company? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Intex provides you with a, like a duffel bag to put everything in. But it's, um, 
it's not very compact. So I think we're going to look for something a little bit more compact because uh, with the van, the space in the van, we have to make sure that we utilize our space well. So yeah. that's one of the things we're going to look at. Might look at like a large, like a large roll top dry sack to put it in something that turns into a backpack because it it still took both of us to carry it down to the water anyway so mm -hmm. something like that would be beneficial i think well, to be able to throw it on my back and yeah, take it it would be distributed better i don't know we'll see that's my thought yeah yeah anyway i'm happy with it I, there's not really anything i don't like i mean it's it's it is what it is um, it's a giant raft that mm -hmm. we get to sit in and paddle around on the lake because we like doing that. And it's going to be great for company and great for us to take in the van to visit other state parks and paddle around on lakes in different areas of the country or of our state. Yeah. And did so, we mention that we paid like what a third of what it retails for yes. on Amazon right now? Yes. So right. we're real happy with that. Yeah, that fit into our budget very yeah, nicely. Yep. So yep. Okay. All right. We just finished eating lunch and we were noticing there's a lot of trash out here. And Shannon and I are big on the leave no trace thing. We make sure that we pick up everything that we bring with us. We don't leave stuff behind. And today, unfortunately, looks like we're going to be picking up other people's trash. Yep. So, considering oh. I'm not sure if it's part of a diaper or some other feminine product, I'm going to use some alcohol wipes that Karen brought to pick it up. Yeah, pretty gross. Yeah. So, but yeah, no respect. You bring it, take it out. Yep, real easy to do. Bring you, you bring a garbage bag. We always bring a bag with us for mm -hmm. trash, yep. so that we have something to put our trash in. But yeah, yep. I want to try to make our parks nice and clean, and keep them that way for everybody. Yeah, so you know, there's generations coming up behind us. Karen's mm -hmm. grandkids, my niece and nephew. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that they enjoy this as much as we do. Yep. All right, lunch is over. We're going to get back out on the water and we're going to try this time switching front and back and see if it makes any difference. Ready? Yep. Ooh, it's hot in the sun.